Yes, like. So how do you actually tune an electric car? Do you put a turbo on it? Can you squeeze a couple of more Duracells into the boot? Well, today we're gonna have a look and see how you can optimize your Tesla Model S and Model X. Now, enhancing the aerodynamics of a car can change its appearance, but it also can aid to the performance. You might remember the story of the Bugatti Veyron. They didn't have enough power to break the 400 km per hour records. And they couldn't weld in another couple of V8s and put in another couple of turbos because that would just weigh the car down, even though it would give it more power. But they did crack the record. And the answer was in aerodynamics. Let's have a look at what we did to these two cars. And we'll start with the S. Now this is of course again a customer's car so it doesn't have all the bits and pieces that we have on offer but I'll tell you what we did do. This is the front carbon lip again the sort of two-tone look with the white and the carbon and then with this silver lining over here before you get to the fog lights. The rims are not from us but we do have a whole bunch of rims in stock that you can choose for the Tesla and over here just to let you know it's quite a bit of space because it doesn't have one of our sports suspensions and I really would recommend that makes this car look fantastic and it also lowers it causing less drag and then of course we have the side skirts and carbon here as well now here at the back you can see the diffuser that we've put on this car it looks so good with these sort of protruding edges here nice and aggressive and of course the final touch the carbon fiber lip we also do a whole bunch of customizations on the Tesla Model 3 from carbon parts to sport suspension to tire and rim combinations and don't forget you can have have a totally customized interior as well but for now let's have a look at the Model X this is a very special Model X because it was the first P100D in the entirety of Europe it's also special because it's ours and it is the most driven car in our company so it's not new but the parts you see on here you can also have them for the modern Model X so let's start with the carbon bits. We've got the lip down here in the front, the carbon side skirt, and then at the rear, the diffuser and the lip on the boot. Here you see that this car rides lower on our sport suspension. Of course, it has been fitted with our very own Novitec rim and tire combination, specifically designed with Vossen for the Model X. They are very unique in the true sense of the word because each of them can only fit to the specific place allocated on the car for them. The reason for that is because of its aerodynamical attributes, cooling the brake system and feeding the air to the places that it needs to go. Put it anywhere else in the car and that will not work. Tesla woke up one morning and said, why don't we just build the fastest SUV on the planet? Probably like they woke up one morning and said, why don't we just build rockets and shoot them into space? But the crazy thing about this is that you can get it in seven seats. An electric SUV, the fastest in the world, in seven seats. This one is a six-seater version but it's still incredible. There's enough space in here to raise a family. I drove a Mercedes-Benz G63 6x6 the other day. Now that's the one with the six wheels. I needed a truck license to drive it. Do you know how many seats it had? Four. There are quite a few things in here that are just big. The loading capacity, for example, nearly two and a half thousand liters. And then there's that flat screen TV up front, 17 inches. It's not just the Navi. There are games on there and you can draw on it. Right now, I'm looking at us driving on Mars. Now this here is, as we said, the six seater version. But of course, if you don't have six passengers, you can have a whole lot of loading space. Just look at this. This is the part where it's supposed, there we go. Ta-da! And this is literally big enough for me. Oh. Oh. To take a breather. But that's not all of it. Look in here. That is huge. I swear I could probably, I could probably hide in here. Not quite. 
and they weren't really into the business of putting bodies in there. There is enough space in here for one, two, three, four, five suitcases, I reckon. The versatility in here is astounding. Now, of course, it's an electric vehicle, so everybody gets into a frenzy about how far you can drive until you can't anymore. But come on, those are the worries we had when electric cars first came out. The infrastructure has grown worldwide. There are more than 17,000 superchargers, which means you can now tank up enough sparks in 15 minutes to drive nearly another 180 kilometers. And if your tank would be that empty that you needed to do that, then you would have had to drive nearly half a thousand kilometers anyways, at which point a pee brake probably wouldn't be such a bad idea. This car has dual electric motors, and there's not really much more to explain about it than that. You stomp on the power, it goes to all the wheels, and then you bolt forward like there's no tomorrow. And the fact that it's the most aerodynamic SUV in the world probably helps. Unlike normal cars, the Model X doesn't have cavities and holes in the front to cool the radiator and whatnot. The air basically just meets up with the front and says, oh, I'll just get out of the way. There's never really a scientific brawl of any kind. I've driven the Porsche Taycan before and that pushed my wrinkles back into an entirely different dimension but today i'm really really excited because this is an suv when you just say the word suv there's already so much stigmata attached to that and today we want to change that this is pretty funky have you guys seen the key <laughs> how's that i hope that's in focus but there's no way to put it in foot on the brake aha uh -huh. Dear Mr. DeCock, would you kindly put on your seatbelt? Drive. Super quiet. They made electric cars years ago. It just never really took off because the planet was all green and happy back then. Regenerative braking. Look, this is my foot. Yes! Holy moly! <laughs> <laughs> the surge, once you give it the beans, is extreme and it's a lot of fun, I can tell you that. And then it sort of eases out. So I'm going to go hard on the brakes. Oh, there you feel the weight. You actually can't believe you're driving something that weighs two and a half tons. I could get used to this. I'm not sure how the battery is going to behave with me doing this the whole time, but I did, yes, like, <laughs> mother. This is such a different ball game driving in here need to really almost like on a racetrack where you have those braking points and here you just need to make sure you brake a lot earlier <laughs> even though we are giving it the beans and we enjoying the power surge and blah 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 that's what everybody's talking about but there's a level of ride comfort and being like gentle about it all that is quite finesse is the words Whoa. So there's no turbo lag, there's no engine needing to spool up, there's nothing of the sort. So be gentle. <laughs> Those dual motors, they putting the power on all four wheels. Not sure if there's a rear bias, I couldn't feel it right now. Tesla, make it cooler. So maybe that's a bit premature. 21 degrees, who did that? Oh, thank you. Oh, hang on a second. I've got, no, 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 don't heat it. Don't heat, don't heat it. But this is, um, there we go. That's that. Yeesh. It is just staggering how this car puts you back into your seat. And once you're up to speed, it's almost like you don't want to accelerate anymore. You see with a normal car, there's the acceleration and going through the gears and getting to the maximum point of power and peak torque. Not with this. This is giving you all three menus at the same time and you never have to wait for anything. So by the time you're done eating, you're full and you're happy. That's it, end of story. Come back next time. I have an acceleration time of still just a shadow over three seconds, which is quick for something weighing two and a half tons and can transport seven people. That is quick. But in the ludicrous mode, I have been told the acceleration takes only 
2.8 seconds to 100. I have a motorcyclist in front of me and he's swerving all over the road like he's warming up his tires before a race and he's paying no attention to the fact that there is this absolute monster car behind him. And that's the crazy thing about an electric car. You can be bucking about like a stealth assassin. Nobody would know it. You are on the brakes. You can feel the weight, but still a promising experience. No doubt, no feeling of being dislocated from the road. Not at all. There we go. Very, I'd love to drive this with the traction control off. With all that power being available instantaneously, it could get very funky very quickly. Gentle and now squeeze it. Yes, there we go. Now we've got it. Like the uh, 720S yesterday, I would love to have a different kind of material on the steering wheel. This baby bottom smooth leather that's on here has no grip whatsoever. Is this why people have those funky driving gloves? Because honestly, this is a sweaty affair, hey? Yikes! The thing with all this power being available immediately is that it can be a lot of fun. But you could also drive it very economically. You're not swinging gears in the middle of traffic. No, this car is relaxing. It's comfortable. It's easy. It kind of depulses life. Depulse? Is that even a word? Depulse? This car is a relationship saver. Really it is. Because in it's quiet. There's nothing that really bothers, nothing that's complicating, and nothing that's aggregating. No, it's just a comfortable place to be. You can have good conversations, rebuild the relationship, tie the knots that have loosened in the noise of life. This is where the entire family can get together and then enjoy a lovely journey on their way to a beautiful holiday. <laughs> I am constantly looking for my paddles. Air is the currency with which these cars aerodynamic components work in order to keep you stuck on the road. Which is why this car has a big wing on the back and it's an active aero wing. It's constantly doing work. And to think this is the first P100D Model X that ever laid tire in Europe. Since then, Tesla's really improved on a lot of things on many of their models. But if it was this good a few years ago, I can't wait for what they're gonna do next. When I look at the statistics over here, it says to me that I've been above the naughty line in the last 20 minutes or so. However, I've not tested out the ludicrous mode. It's a friend of ours that's here now with his tuned BMW M2. It's got north of 400 horsepower. Maybe I can get him to do a little race with me. We'll put this in ludicrous mode and see who wins. The Tesla Model X P100D. I'm going to put my foot on the brake, squeeze the throttle and That was it. One more time to make sure that there was no foul play in the game. Launch mode activated. And... Today we looked at changing the underpinnings of a Tesla, at enhancing its aerodynamical craft with some carbon bits, and of course giving it a great set of wheels. But I can hear that guy in the back row going, oh, but you didn't really tune it because you didn't even give it a single horsepower more. But then again, looking at the statistics, this Tesla never really needed that, but it does have something else up its sleeve.
the next model we're going to be working on from Tesla is the Model Y. It's basically the little brother to the Model X, giving it a power upgrade and then also an enhanced brake recuperation system. Also, if you like this film and you want to see more stuff, then feel free to like and subscribe. You can also hit that little reminder button so you don't miss a single time we upload a new film. It was great having you guys here today. It was an electrifying experience. That's such a cheesy line, but I do like it. It was first time for me and this car is epic although it's even a couple of years old already so looking forward to the new model s that we're going to probably be getting in the beginning of next year so lots of cool stuff coming up on this channel looking forward to share that with you see you soon